So you're thinking of selling courses online to earn a halal income. Well, look no further because in this video, I'm actually going to share with you the raw truth behind what it takes to be successful as an online course creator and what are the, the pitfalls that you should look out for and the things that you should know in order to be successful. Let's dive right in. Assalamu alaikum, my name is Abi Lasmar and in this video I'm going to share with you exactly how you can earn halal income online by selling online courses. And before we dive in, if this is your first time watching a video on Umarpreneur, make sure to subscribe and like this video. We release content like this every single week to help you on your journey of entrepreneurship as a Muslim. Now, let's talk about what it is that you came here for. You wanna know what it takes to sell online courses, what it is that you need to know, what are the pitfalls to watch out for, what are the mistakes that most people are making right now, and how you can be successful in generating halal money online with online courses. Now, I do feel that it's important to mention this before we talk about creating online courses in that you need to be very good at a certain topic or at least qualified to create an online course by having experience in whatever it is that you're teaching other people. Because within the online course industry right now, there are many gurus and scammers and people popping up that are selling courses about topics that they don't even know and aren't an expert in. For example, if you have never started a million dollar business, don't go around trying to sell a coaching program on how to start a million dollar business. Chances are what you think you know and what what it actually takes are two completely different things because you, you've never done it before. So I really wanna make sure before we sh I share with you this high level content on how you can be a successful online course creator that you use it ethically and responsibly because we don't want any more scammers and people ruining this industry of online education which is such an amazing industry and there's so much potential in helping people through online courses now let's get started the first thing that i recommend when it comes to creating a successful online course is that you first begin by coaching or consulting now what i mean by that it's that whatever it is that you think you want to create a course on whatever topic you want to focus on you first want to see if you can deliver the result to clients directly through one-on-one -on -one coaching or consulting. And the reason why I recommend you do this first is because it's really going to allow you to understand how to best deliver that outcome for your clients and eventually turn that process into an online course. The greatest online courses are the ones that are previous coaching programs and consulting offers that were eventually turned into online trainings. And what these course creators have done is for example, if they have a process of working with small businesses and helping them you know, set up their accounting for their business, well, they're gonna take that process that they've been doing for so long and say, well, you know what? I've been working with many clients and we've been achieving success. Let me turn that process into an online training, into a system that people can follow so that they can do it for themselves. They can do the result themselves. I don't have to work one-on-one -on -one with clients anymore. And this is usually the best strategy to get started because a lot of people overthink what they need to uh, create an online course. They overthink what it takes to be successful within this, this industry. And the biggest recommendation I have, the first step that you need to take is test your course live with other people. Go and actually work with clients and deliver the outcome that you want them to get from your course by working with them one-on-one -on -one and testing it out and getting their live feedback and seeing what are the areas that they struggle with, what are the challenges that they have. And then based on that, you can go and create an amazing online course because you've already done it, done it before with so many people. And that's a course that you can go on to sell for a thousand, two thousand, maybe even five thousand, ten thousand dollars. Even there's online courses that are priced at twenty five thousand dollars and up. And you'd be surprised at the what it is that they teach. It's not about the content, but it's about the value that you're going to provide for your clients. If you can really help them get their desired outcome from your online course, that's when you'll be successful. If you create a course to help people start a knitting business because you've already started a knitting business, well, awesome. You're gonna be successful because you've already done it. If you help people you know, build a rocket ship and you've never built a rocket ship before, that's probably not what you should be focusing on with your online course. So it's important to do it first, do it successfully, and then you turn that into a course. Now, once you've worked with a few clients and it doesn't have to be that many, as long as you've at least worked with a few, and I would recommend at least a minimum of two or three so that you can really test out your course idea and see if it works, then 
you begin the process of mapping out your course curriculum. Now, when it comes to mapping out your course curriculum, there are four basic elements that you need to understand. Number one, what is the transformation? So what kind of transformation do you want your clients to achieve? For example, with our online program, Automarpreneur, and the transformation that we help our clients achieve is to go from knowing nothing about business to successfully starting a six-figure halal online business. So that's the transformation. So th that's what we know. Number two, what are the major topics, the major areas that you need to cover to help your clients achieve that transformation, right? So we started the transformation. And then number two, what are the major areas that we need to cover to achieve that transformation? So for example, in our program, we're going to cover areas like your business plan. We're going to cover areas like social media. We're going to talk about things like sales, like marketing, like advertising, building a team, business management. These are the main areas that we're going to focus on. Now, once you know about your main topics, the main areas you're going to focus on within those main topics, what are the subtopics that you need to share with your clients in that course? So for example, we know that one of our main topics is marketing, marketing, you know, your business, setting up your advertising, your funnels, then what are the subtopics that we need to cover? Well, we need to, to help them set up their funnel. We need to help them, you know, set up their, their Facebook or YouTube ads so they can go and get more clients. We need to help them uh, essentially understand how to manage that advertising uh, for their business and be successful and be profitable and make sure they don't lose money. So there's a few main subtopics that we're going to cover. And then finally, what are your action items? Every online, every great online course is going to have action items. So action items is what is going to be the homework that you're going to give to your students that's going to allow them to apply what it is that they just learned. So for example, if I create an online painting course, I'm going to teach you how to paint beautiful landscapes. Well, maybe the transformation is going from someone who knows nothing about painting to uh, to being able to paint beautiful landscapes and the main areas that i'm going to that we're going to talk about are maybe going to be like shading background creating shadows creating depth of field and then maybe within that subtopics within those main areas we're going to have subtopics i don't know what those are because i'm not a painting expert but then for each 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 one of those things, we're going to have action items, right? So, you know, throughout the course, the first thing, once I teach you about depth of field, I want you to go and draw this specific canvas to apply what it is I just taught you. Once we talk about, you know, uh, creating uh, shading within your image, then I want you to go and actually go and apply this by creating this canvas where we use a lot of shading so you can practice it. So you have a set of action items within each lesson or within each step that you want your client or your student to follow to be able to achieve that transformation eventually. At the end of the program, you want them to get to that transformation, be able to go, for example, from knowing nothing about painting to painting beautiful landscapes, knowing nothing about business to building six-figure businesses, uh, not being able to do their accounting to at least being able to do you know all of their small business accounting on their own and understanding it fully. All of these things are amazing transformations. There's a million ideas for online courses. All you need to do is figure out what it is that you want to focus on and then use those four elements to map out your course. All right, the third step, once you've actually mapped out your course is going to be to test it live. And yes, you heard me right. I told you once again to go and test it live. Now, this is why it's so important to test it live before you go and record all the videos and turn it into an online training is because you wanna make sure that when your students are gonna go through this course, that they are actually able to do the action items. They understand the lessons and what it is you're trying to teach them. And the best way to do that is to actually go and test out your course by delivering it live to a few key people. So go and get a few friends or people who are interested in what it is that you want to teach and go and teach it to them live. Go on Zoom and tell them, all right, today's lesson is, is this is what we're going to learn. This is what I want to show you. Create a PowerPoint presentation if you have to and walk them through it live and get their feedback and see how they react and see if they understand or if they have a whole confused look on their face because you want to make sure that, you know, whatever it is that you're teaching, your students will be able to understand and implement. So step number three is going to be to test out your course live. And then finally, step number four is to record the actual training and go and launch your online course. So once you've tested it live, you've seen that it works, you've mapped out your entire course outline, then you can go and actually record that into an online training, you know, get a screen recorder app, uh, get a decent microphone on Amazon. It's going to cost you like 20 or 30 bucks to get, you know, just a standing mic for your desk where you can go and record the course and then you can go and package it and be able to start selling it, which brings me to Number five, how do you sell your course? So there's a few different ways to sell the course. You can, of course, leverage platforms for selling courses such as Udemy and Skillshare. However, platforms like that really cater to courses that are a little bit on the lower price 
of the scale. So, you know, courses from ranging from like $25 all the way up to 500, that's where you can sell that. If your course is more high ticket, which is what we teach our students to create programs that are priced at $2,000 and more, then you need to be able to actually leverage social media and build a brand and build an audience that's interested in the topic that you specialize in and that is willing to pay those high ticket prices because they really see you as an expert. So the way that you do that is really by focusing on creating free content on social media, building a loyal audience of raving fans, you know, demonstrate your expertise, create an Instagram or Facebook or YouTube channel where you're talking about, you know, the topic that you focus on in your online course. If I create an online program about painting, I'm gonna create a YouTube channel where I talk about painting and I talk about, you know, the joy of painting, you know, no pun intended. I think that that's one of the, that's the name of the show of Bob Ross, which is a very famous painter. I think the joy of painting, right? So, you know, maybe I'll create a YouTube channel. I'll talk about the joy of painting and all the wonders of painting, et cetera, et cetera. Build an audience, get people who are interested in painting, and then I can go and sell my program. So I recommend you do that if you're on the higher ticket end. If you're priced between 25 to 500, you can leverage platforms like Udemy and Skillshare pretty successfully and go on to sell your course, inshallah. All right, guys, and that covers it for the game plan on what you should do if you're thinking of launching an online course business this year, inshallah, and really what you should keep in mind, what are the pitfalls, what are the things to look out for so you can really maximize your chances of success with this business model. Now, we've helped hundreds and even thousands of Muslims really get support and get the right strategies to build online programs successfully and launch these online businesses. So if that's something that you want help with, you want us to hold your hand throughout the process, there's gonna be links for that beneath the video. And of course, if you enjoyed and got value to this video, go ahead and subscribe and like this video and let me know in the comments, what are the insights that you've gone from this video? And I would love to actually hear your course idea. So if you have an idea of what kind of course you're gonna be creating, let me know in the comments. I check every single one and I'll give you my personal feedback. I'll see you in the next one, inshallah. Take care. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.